Earlier this year, a study came out showing that higher protein diets actually did a better job with weight loss and losing body fat than simple calorie restriction. This confirms another review of 24 trials that found a higher protein diet with the same amount of calories as a standard protein diet actually did better at achieving a weight loss goal and losing body fat percentage. Problem is most people are getting way too little protein to actually see the benefits. So today I'm sharing 12 really easy tips to help you incorporate more protein into your daily diet and help you achieve your weight loss goals a lot easier. My name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's in nutrition human performance. And today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market. More on them in a bit. Okay, the first tip is every time you eat, you need to make sure you're having a complete protein. In order to actually get enough protein for your body's needs, this is essential. Once you actually know how much protein you need for your body and your goals, you'll understand why getting protein at every meal is crucial. For a lot of people, this typically means getting between 25 to 30 grams of complete protein at every single one of their three meals, although this could be even a lot higher, which is harder to get in than you would think, especially when you're getting it from complete sources primarily. So if you don't know exactly how much protein you need, I do have a video that helps you calculate your protein needs, make sure that you check that out. I'll have it linked right up here. Okay, the second tip is to swap your traditional protein bars for either beef jerky or meat sticks, which I really hate the name meat sticks. <laughs> Many protein bars are actually not as high in protein as you might think, or they'll use a plant-based protein, which has a very low diaz score. Diaz is the measurement of protein digestibility and how much protein you're actually really getting from that protein source. Not to say all plant-based proteins are bad, but you'll definitely get more bang for your buck if you're going for a higher diaz protein. Most protein bars also come with a not insignificant amount of sugar, which is not great for a weight loss goal. My favorite beef jerky option is the Zero Sugar Country Archer. And then for beef sticks or meat sticks, I love Chomps and Paleo Valley. Okay, the third tip is to use a protein focused adult snack pack approach. If you don't have time for like a big, beautiful salad with a lot of roast chicken on it or something, try out the adult snack pack. This is a game changer for so many of my clients. The adult snack Snack pack is kind of like a Lunchable, but healthy. Here's how I like to format it. You take some type of complete protein of choice that can be like hard boiled eggs. It could even be some type of higher quality deli meat. You make sure you hit your protein needs with that. And then you pair with it a high quality fat like olives or nuts or seeds or cheese. And then you add in a few slices of like sticks of crunchy veggies like jicama or cucumber or carrots. And that's it. It doesn't have to be overly complicated. You have a protein focused meal that took you seconds to put together and that doesn't take a long time to eat. Okay, the fourth tip is to make chia pudding with skier. Now, if you haven't heard of skier before, it's kind of like Greek yogurt, but even higher in protein. In fact, skier often comes in at about 20 grams of protein per three quarter cup, which is very high. Just to give you reference, a traditional yogurt, like not a Greek yogurt, but regular yogurt usually has about five to seven grams of protein per three quarter cup. So using skier in your chia pudding instead of regular yogurt makes it so much easier to get your protein content up. Some great brands include Siggy's and Icelandic Provisions, which you can actually find a lot of the products I'm mentioning today, like Country Archer or like Chomps and Siggy's from Thrive Market. Thrive Market is an awesome online membership-based grocery store, and they're on a mission to make healthy living as easy and accessible and affordable as possible. Plus, it's delivered directly to your door, which is just really convenient. <laughs> and you can save on every order on high-quality brands like Country Archer or like Siggy's on their website or even on their their app. And something that's amazing is that if you happen to find the price lower someplace else, Thrive Market will match their price, making sure that you're always guaranteed the lowest price. Plus orders over $49 have free shipping. Another really cool, unique feature about Thrive Market is that it has these different filters to make sure that you're choosing a product that's in line with your goals or your dietary preferences. So if you're gluten-free or if you're paleo, or if you only want to use grass-fed or regenerative farmed products, then you can mark these off on Thrive Market's filter and they do the legwork for you on figuring this out. And if your local grocery store doesn't have access or doesn't carry a lot of these higher quality ingredients, Thrive Market makes it so easy for you to gain access and unlock all of these amazing products that can help support your goals and have it delivered directly to your door, all while saving money in the process. And right now you can join Thrive Market today and get 30% off your first order, plus a free gift valued up to $60. So make sure you head over to thrivemarket.com forward 
slash autumn baits for 30% off your first order. I'll also have it linked down description below so you guys don't miss out on this discount. Thanks so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the tips. Okay, the fifth tip is to have canned tuna at lunch. It's easy, it's cost efficient, and it's a super simple way to make sure that you're really getting all the protein you need. Because typically each can of tuna, if you're getting like the 4.5 or five ounce can of tuna, will have about 35 to 40 grams of protein. Now for the vast majority of people, this probably covers your protein needs for one meal, assuming you're having a three meal structure. Okay, the sixth tip is to use ground meat. Now ground meat is a lot easier to digest, it's a lot easier to chew, and it cooks up in less time. But what's really great about it is that if you don't necessarily love meat, but you're trying to incorporate more of it into your diet, typically starting off with ground meat is a great place to begin because you can transform it into so many other types of dishes. Like you could make a spaghetti squash bolognese, or you can make meatballs or burgers. And if you're over the age of like 60 or 70 years old, typically the ability to digest protein goes down. So to make sure you can get access to the high quality protein, having an essentially pre-broken down protein like with ground meat makes it easier for your body to gain access to those nutrients. Okay, the seventh tip might seem like a weird one, but it's to have pork rinds with your lunch. This is actually a really sneaky way to pack in a lot of protein and a really important amino acid called glycine. I like the brand 4505, which can also be found on Thrive Market. It's super tasty and it makes for a much better option than just traditional chips. Okay, the eighth tip is to not count peanut butter as your protein or other nuts for that matter. Peanut butter is such a low diet score, which is that measurement of protein digestibility, that it can't even technically be considered a protein. If this is new to you and you wanna learn more about this topic specifically, I also have a video on this right up here. Okay, the ninth tip is to use whey protein powder. Whey protein powder is one of the most studied supplements out there, and it's a great way to sneak in very high quality, very high diet protein, especially on days that you're on the lower side of your protein intake. I use my zero sugar pasture raised protein powder in my smoothies, also make protein pancakes and use it as the base. Or if there's a day that I'm personally low on protein, I will just pair it with some milk or some almond milk and have alongside my meal. The 10th tip is to make or buy egg bites. Egg bites are kind of like mini egg frittatas and you can make them with eggs and cheese and veggies if you want or various other proteins like bacon. They're really flavorful and you can make like a big batch of them for the week and grab some to have as your protein for that meal. You can also buy them pre-made if you're short on time, but keep in mind to get about 30 grams to 40 grams of protein from egg bites, you usually need about four full egg bites. Okay, the 11th tip is to have collagen in your smoothie. Now collagen is not a complete protein, so I wouldn't count that towards your total protein intake for the day, but what it does do is when paired with complete proteins, it really helps to reduce sugar cravings. So you can either stir collagen into like your Greek yogurt or skier, or you can add it alongside whey protein powder in a smoothie to get that extra hit of collagen. Okay, the 12th tip is to get friendly with cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is another one of those really high protein ingredients. About three quarter cups of cottage cheese has roughly 15 grams of protein, and you can use it in so many different ways. I love eating just cottage cheese bowls with some berries and some nuts or some peanut butter on top, or I'll make my protein pancakes and put some cottage cheese on top as like a little topping. So there's a lot of different ways you can incorporate cottage cheese to sneak in more protein. Now, a lot of the products I mentioned in today's video like collagen, like the beef sticks can be found on Thrive Market and be delivered directly to your door. So if you wanna get that 30% discount on your first order, plus the free gift valued up to $60, make sure you check out thrivemarket.com forward slash autumn baits, or you can click the link in my description box to take advantage of that massive discount. Now you can also check out the 10 foods that I personally eat every day as nutritionist with this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here come out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.